Hi everyone, Nicholas Buffett is here from Sunny Cypress and today's video tutorial is all about date formats and changing those regional settings and making your date formats consistent throughout all of your parts. Now, if you live in the US, that's not really a problem because 365 will automatically assign the US date format to all of your files and all of your apps. But if you're not in the US and you prefer the UK format, which is actually day, month, year, as opposed to month, day, year, which is the US format, then it becomes a bit more of a struggle. It becomes even more of a struggle when we see the same file displaying different date formats, depending on how we open those files. Today's tutorial is going to teach you how to tackle this. Now, all the tutorials that I've seen will show you one or the other. What do I mean by this? Well, here's a classic example. You can see here two screenshots. These are both from Microsoft Lists. It's, it's a relatively new app, and I've been using it for a while, and I really noticed this problem really uh, stand out when I was using lists. So these are two different lists. They both got a date field in there, but the one list, when it opens, it displays the format using the standard US date format. And you can see it's the 8 2022 This one here is a different list, has a date field in there, but it displays it using the UK format. Now, why is that? Why is it opening some of my files using different formats? That's what we're going to learn. Now, before we actually begin, we have to understand a little bit about how our files, how our data is being stored and where it's being stored. Okay, so when you create a file and you save it in My Files, it's stored in OneDrive. And OneDrive would deal with the settings, like regional settings and essentially the date formats through the OneDrive settings. If you are creating files and you're saving them in a team, well, whenever you create a new team, it creates a new SharePoint site. That SharePoint site, each SharePoint site has got its own settings and essentially its own regional settings and therefore different date format that you can change. This basically means that all your class teams can have different, all the files that are saved in those class teams can have different date formats. Now, it's not just Teams, you may have SharePoint sites. Again, each individual SharePoint site has its own regional settings. So that's the first thing that you have to understand. So if we want to see this in practice, well, let's have a look at lists. So here I am in my lists application. You can see all my lists here, and the two we're going to be looking at are these two here. Now, the first one, list in my lists. This is actually stored, the data is actually stored in OneDrive. If I click on this, you can see the date format is 24th of the 8th, 2022, clearly the UK date format. If I open this list, now keep in mind, I'm opening another list in my list application. So I'm not going somewhere else to open it. If I open this, you can see this is clearly the US format. It's got the month, then the day, then the year. So 8th, 24th, 2022. And this is where it gets confusing. I've got two different lists within the same lists application and they displaying two different date formats. So why is this? Well, if you remember when we just talked about it, it depends on where things are stored. So the My Lists is stored in OneDrive, whereas the List in Teams is stored is actually a SharePoint site and it's going to be the SharePoint site, which is going to be controlling those regional settings. So let's see when this is decided upon when i create a new list i'll go to blank list i will give it the title here i'm going to say test list and down here it says where you're going to save this so if you save this in my lists that's going to be directly in your files so it's going to be controlled by onedrive if i click here and choose a team then it's going to save the data for that list inside the sharepoint site for that team and that's where you will essentially have to go to modify the date format or the regional settings. So I'm not going to create this. I'm just going to click on cancel. You can also create your list in Teams simply by going to your team, clicking on the plus tab sign at the top, choosing your list application. And as soon as you create a new list from here, it will automatically add the data for that list inside the Teams SharePoint site, the content for that SharePoint site, okay? So it really doesn't make a difference. And all of these apps here, whatever you add, it's going to put it as content for that SharePoint site. So all of those are going to be controlled, like the date format through the regional settings, through the settings for that SharePoint site. 
Okay, so we've seen that we can create something like lists and save it either in OneDrive or we can save it in the SharePoint site. How do we change the regional settings? So the first step is, I'm going to be looking at this one here, list in my list. So I'm going to open this up. This is actually using the UK date format. And I'm going to show you how we can change that to go to the US format. So I need, because it's saved in OneDrive, I need to go to my OneDrive settings. So here I am in my OneDrive, and now I need to go to the settings of OneDrive. Now keep in mind, you can only do this through the online version of OneDrive. So you have to sign into your 365 portal. I'm gonna click on this settings cog here. I'm gonna to go to OneDrive settings. From here on the left-hand side, I'm gonna click on more settings. And now I've got this option here, regional settings. So we're gonna click on that. And we can now change here the locale. We can change that from United Kingdom. I'm going to change this to United States so we can actually see this uh, change. So there you go, United States. I'm going to scroll down. There's an OK button here. It's actually behind me. There it is there. We're going to go to that OK button. And now when I go to my lists, let's have a look. That's going to change. Give it a second. So I'm going to go back and then click on this again and look carefully. There you go, you should have seen that change. So now it's showing me the US date format. Let me just change that back because I will probably forget to change it back. So I'm just gonna go back to my browser, go to regional settings, and I'm just gonna change that back to United Kingdom. Scroll down to the bottom, there's my okay button. I'm just gonna click on that again. And now when I go back to lists, and I'm gonna go back and open that again, there you go, it's changed. So that was changed. So that everything now, which is stored in OneDrive, will actually have that date format. Not just this, everything that's stored in OneDrive will be using the UK date format because the regional settings for OneDrive have been changed. Now let's go have a look at the other one. Let's go have a look at how we can change the regional settings of files stored in a SharePoint site. So if we open this one here, this is actually saved inside a Microsoft Teams SharePoint site. Let's just have a look. This is definitely the US date format. We want to change it to UK. Okay, so to be able to change this, I mean, through lists, you can see I've actually got open in SharePoint. And if I click on this, it's actually going to open the SharePoint site where this is stored. So I'm going to show you from here, and I'm also going to show you how you can open up any SharePoint site. So if I go to open in SharePoint, it's going to open, there you go, it's in my teacher training team. It's open the SharePoint site. I want to go to the site contents, okay? And then from here on the right-hand side, you've got site settings. And this is where you control the settings for all of the files which are stored in this SharePoint site. So if I click on that, I should now have here, let's just zoom that in a bit, regional settings. There we go, in site administration, regional settings. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to change this. There it is, region locale is United States. I'm going to click on that, change that to United Kingdom, scroll down. I'm going to click on OK again. There it is there. All right. And now when I go back to my lists, I'm going to go back into lists and come back into list in Teams. And it should change. Three, two, there you go. It's changed. Okay. So I actually changed that for the SharePoint site. Now, if you want to change any uh, settings, your uh, any settings for any SharePoint site, you just need to go to SharePoint. So I'm going to demonstrate how you can find your SharePoint site very easily, a couple of ways. So the first one is go directly to Teams. If it's, let's say, a Teams that you've got, then you can just open up Teams like this. So this is my teacher training team again. I'm going to go to my files section. And from the files section, if I click on the three ellipses, if I can't see, the open in SharePoint. I can actually see that there. Let's close that. So I can see the open in SharePoint, but if you can't, you click on these three ellipses and it'll be there. So if I open in SharePoint, there you go. It opens it up. Again, I will go to site contents and I will be able to go to site settings and change my regional settings from here. The other way is you can just go to your 365 portal, go to all apps and find SharePoint. There it is there. And this will show you all of your uh, SharePoint sites that you've got. So these are your recent ones following. You can go find more, but you can just find any SharePoint sites. If I click on this one, I can then go to site contents. 
again, click on site settings. And then from here, you've got site administration, regional settings, and you should be able to change that there. You can see this one's on United States. So I might as well just change that from there, put that to United Kingdom and go down and click on OK again. That's it. You should now be able to have the correct date format in all of your files, irrespective of where they're saved. So remember, if it's in a SharePoint site like Teams, you need to go to the SharePoint site and change the settings. If it's in your general files in OneDrive, just change the settings in OneDrive. You don't have to do this for every file. So if you change your regional settings for OneDrive, then all of your files which are stored under OneDrive will have those the correct date format. If you are using Teams, however, every single team has a different team or SharePoint site. So you have to change the regional settings of every site. All the files contained within that site will pull those settings through. If you've learned something new, you've enjoyed what you've seen, or you found this useful, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you again in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.